guys welcome back to my vlog and welcome to, welcome back to my channel that is and welcome to this week's vlog i am ashley if you are new and if you are new please go ahead and stop what you're doing do me a quick favor hit that subscribe button as well as that notifications bell so that you and i can become acquainted and so we can do things like this on the regular my apologies for the background noise however i do want to come in and say thank you guys so much for all of your birthday wishes um, that you left me in last week's vlog I certainly appreciate you guys. You guys are so sweet. As you know, I was not pleased because the weather completely ruined my birthday. However, I'm extremely blessed to see another year. So this weekend is just going to be the redo, the do-over. So stay tuned. We're going to get into something. Hopefully, I got my fingers crossed because low-key, it might snow again this Friday, which could completely ruin my plans again. But your girl's going to have to get out and do something and get in where she fits in. So... As I said, of course, I will be bringing you guys with. Again, thank you so much for all of your birthday wishes. Y'all are so sweet. I'm kind of sad because Capricorn season is about to be over and it's like a little bit of my juice gets drained once Aquarius season starts. But thank you guys again so much for coming back to my channel and to this week's vlog. And girl, let's go ahead and get into it. Good morning, you guys. So it is my birthday, Sunday, January 16th. And as you can see, it is snowing. Girl, I just don't understand why a snowstorm Izzy, I think is what they're calling the girl. She came through and ruined my birthday. <laughs> we can't even go to Copeland's brunch like we, anticipate, like we initially planned because they're closed. As you can see, it really ain't, it ain't sticking yet, but it just started snowing. But it is like 30, I sound like the weather girl. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I am an amateur weather girl, an amateur meteorologist. So, because the snowstorm, or the lack thereof girl, has ruined my birthday. <laughs> I'm enjoying a cocktail early, girl. It's only 11 a.m., so. I just had to come and give y'all the forecast and just let y'all know that um, my day is looking like this plant. <laughs> However, my aunt is here, so that in itself was a birthday gift, so I greatly appreciate her. Shout out to my Aunt Kim, you're the best. But girl, again, Izzy is not your friend. She's not my friend. Good morning. So I'm in here making my favorite breakfast for cheat day, which is salmon croquettes. Cheese it, oh, grits and cheese it, and biscuits, girl. My favorite, what's your favorite breakfast? I'll show you it plated also. So here is the salmon patty, grits, and biscuit plated. I'm gonna have my eggs on the side. So yeah, girl, it's my favorite. So my style dress finally came in the mail. Um, I did pick it up. I, I think I shared with you guys a few vlogs back that I was trying that I really, really wanted a stud dress, which is those, they're called the Shaco block dresses. The two-tone dresses I'm about to show you guys. But um, I've been waiting for them to go on sale, girl, because the regular price is like $165 and up, and I'm not the girl who spends money like that on one dress. Like, this is not a this is not a um, this is not a wedding dress <laughs> even though a wedding dress obviously will cost way more but anyway um, I would not spend $200 on a dress so anyway I was able to pick up one from Saks so I picked it up it was one of my birthday gifts to myself so you know we always got to make ourselves a card so mine just says happy birthday beautiful um, and it's from Saks so I got it on sale for I want to say like eighty dollars, something like that. It was it was basically like fifty sixty percent off. Y'all, why did it take them like three weeks to send this though? So I came in this bag and I got this one, which is the burgundy and navy blue dress. Well, let me put the camera down so I can kind of um, show y'all the full dress. So this is the dress. And again, this is the Stad Shaco. 
I don't know if it's called the two-tone shackle dress or what the exact name of it is, but it looks super damn small, <laughs> but it is a size large. They give you some extra threading and a button. They only give you one extra button. They probably should have thrown a couple of more up in there, but I love this color. I'm super happy that I was able to pick this one up because they had like a couple on sale like a, a month ago, but they had like the white and red, the white and yellow one, which was not <laughs> a color that I wanted. So this one is really cute and the fabric is everything. Like it's very stretchy and it's like this knit fabric, of course, but it's like it, I already tried it on y'all. It fits like a dream. <laughs> I love it. I want like three more colors, especially now that I know they fit so damn well. And it has like a little bit of, oop, oop. of course, I just dropped it. But it has a little bit of a slit at the bottom. Damn. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> Don't mind my toes and my nails because I need to go to the nail shop like last week. But anyway, it has like this little slit at the bottom which I think is super cute, but excellent quality. I kind of see now that I have it in person, why it's so expensive. Like, but at the same time, your girl, I don't care how great of a quality it is. I'm not giving y'all $200 for a dress, but, but anyway, if you guys are interested, if you've been considering getting the style dresses, I certainly would recommend them and I will keep them on my radar because as soon as they have another sale, your girl's gonna pick one up. And the fabric is like thick enough for the winter, but if it's really cold, obviously you need to have like a, um, you know, a coat on or whatever. But it's also thin enough to kind of get away in the spring, summer too. Maybe not summer in Atlanta, but definitely spring. So, so yeah, big fan of the style dress. It was worth the hype and the wait. So very excited. Of course, I'll try it on for y'all probably not in this vlog but next vlog for sure so y'all can see the fit is busting so in the what are we current what am i currently burning chronicles i'm back on cactus blossom because i know it's still winter but i'm feeling a little springish and i wanted to smell something sweet so i'm almost done burning this and then also in also in here in my bedroom i am burning the storm candle by sensational like y'all know last year or the year before i was stalking this candle and this is my last one so i will be back at marshall's tj maxx home goods all the girls <laughs> looking for this because this candle smells amazing it really smells just like um blue capri or capri, capri blue volcano but um but it smells just a little bit better but I love this candle. So yeah, we're bur I'm burning Cactus Blossom and Storm. What are you burning? Comment down below. Good morning, you guys. So it is Saturday and I'm about to head out and do some errands. Your girl is in desperate need of a car mount. Like this would be ideal. I don't know why I haven't gotten one. I, I, my dashboard is kind of weird. So I don't know if it's gonna fit. But, uh, but yeah, just wanted to come in and say what up. And of course, I'll be bringing you guys a whip. Happy Saturday. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare into my eyes. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist We can get away I'm just beach fuel feeling every day All I wanna hear is an everything that we play Sitting right next to you I hear Morris Brown is open again And that makes me really happy Because I remember back when I was an undergrad And Morris Brown closed I'm kind of dating myself Which is perfectly which is perfectly fine because who doesn't love that um i remember when they closed and a lot of people transferred to my school it was like my freshman year but yeah like i'm so i'm super happy that they're back open and that they're, i think they're i think they had their accreditation back if i'm not mistaken but i just love the history of the au 
There we have Clark Atlanta safe so oh, softball state <laughs> softball stadium that is my aunt that's her alma mater but shout out to anybody and everybody who went to the AU or went to an HBCU like myself Alabama State alumni in the house it's just something about you know HBCU alums like we just get it you know <laughs> Y'all, I'm so excited that Ozark came out last night. Like, I didn't even know. I don't know how I missed this, like, this notification. I knew it was coming, but I didn't know it was coming that fast. But, girl, excited. Do y'all watch Ozark? Please let me know. Comment down below if you are an Ozark watcher. We need to talk. Yay! Hey, you guys. So, it's Saturday. Of course, I'm out here at Atlantic Station. I'm about to do a return at forever 21 girl as always and then we'll see what else but it's super cold like super cold like cold enough for gloves cold which rarely happens but what i'm thinking of my higher grandma i get love for gravity i'd rather stay up here we can get away palm cheese beach feels on a night day all i want to hear is an every Ozark. 
I just wanna say this is my favorite time of the year for the dollar spot in Target. The Valentine's Day stuff is always so cute. Like, look at how cute, look at this little, look how cute that is. If you're into pink, that is, but. This I love. these cute little candles with your initial on them and they're three bucks. These are cute. It says my mom, OMG, my mom was right about everything. Those are all facts, girl. I've been seeing a lot of the girls get these little espresso cups. I don't drink coffee, so. This is super cute for those who are trying to create a coffee station. The Black History Month stuff is so cute. Target. I went in there just to get paper towels and scrub. So I did pick up this cotton candy scrub. Y'all know, and I'm sorry, I have the air fryer on in the back. Um, but y'all know how much I love my tree hut scrubs. And especially this cotton candy one, it smells amazing. So I highly recommend this if I haven't before, which I'm sure I have. But um, I love these Smartly paper towels because they're pretty good quality, decent quality. And you get two for a dollar twenty nine. Can't beat that. And then. I don't know if I showed you guys this in the dollar spot, but like I said, they're um, one of my favorite dollar spot seasons is Valentine's Day because I just love their hard stuff and they always have white stuff too. So I picked up this um, cake tray. Is that what you call it? A cake tray? I think you call it a cake tray. <laughs> yes, girl. It's a oh, cake stand. That's what you call it. But um, I just thought it was super cute, and for $5, you can't beat that. And, oh, let me show y'all my food from um, from Busy Bee. This is what I got from Busy Bee. Hey, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end off this week's vlog here because I don't think I have anything else going on this evening, <laughs> and I don't want to forget if you made it to the end of the vlog, basos. <laughs> but I greatly appreciate you. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next vlog.